Welcome to the REST Web Services screencast. My name is Marco Hippler from Predicate. I start the screencast by requesting a REST Web Service. This REST service is realized with SQL REST. SQL REST is an open source gateway providing access to a database in the form of REST resources. If you want to give it a try, have a look at its SourceForge homepage. Using SQL REST you can query, modify and delete data. Now we see the representation of the resources as an XML document which is referring to four other resources. To customers, invoices, items and products. I go for invoices by tracking the embedded link. I copy the link into the address bar and send a request. And, hey presto, there's another XML document with a list of all invoices. I go for the invoice number 7. Again, I copy an URL from the XML document and request it using the address bar. This time, I don't get a list, but a single invoice. The invoice contains data describing the product. Among the ID of the customer, which had ordered the product, I also get a link referring to the customer. Again I follow the link and get shown the data of the customer. SQL REST gets the information about this link from the database metadata. The connection to the customer is a foreign key constrained in the database. Opposed to a SOAP web service, this REST service deserves the name web service. The individual resources, for example invoices or customers, are linked by a web of links. So far, I requested data with the HTTP GET method only. In practical applications, this isn't done by a browser, but the client application is communicating with a REST resource. To experiment with REST, we have developed a gateway. With it, you can also send HTTP POST, PUT and DELETE requests to a resource using your web browser. You can see more to the REST gateway in another screencast.